Hello everyone, that's you in today's first video, the European Outlook for today's first video. So this is another feature that is uh, coming back after a, a two or three month break. So uh, we're going to have a detailed look at the weather for the next week to 10 days on a day by day basis. Um, not only for the UK but for the rest of Europe as well. So this is your Thursday morning. European Outlook. I'll get off that for you in a moment. Just say it coming up later on. Today will be for 10 to 14 day out. That will include all of break features. So uh, check back to the channel uh, for that. Please like, share, subscribe on the video. So thank you so much everybody uh, for doing that. Right, so we'll start off by having a look at the situation across Europe today on Thursday the 12th of May. And basically we've got low pressure dominating in the north and high pressure reaching into south. So we've got a, got a ridge of high pressure from the Azores, the Atlantic reaching into southern parts of Europe at the same time, low pressure dominating across uh, northern parts of Europe, West Europe in this uh, westerly type flow. Our air temperatures uh, show pretty warm or hot weather down across much of the Mediterranean and uh, into southern and also east and southeastern parts of Europe. Further north and northwest it is cooler and fresh with winds coming in from off the Atlantic Ocean. Lots of dry weather with that ridge of high pressure across southern Europe, of course, uh, today. Uh, we have got some showery outbreaks of rain moving into Ireland and also Scotland. Showers and longer spells of rain up over Scandinavia as well. And some wet weather running down uh, the eastern side of Europe too. Temperatures are pretty warm across much of southern, east and southeast Europe, well up into the 20s Celsius with cool weather or cooler weather is across northern and western parts of Europe, especially for northern parts of Scandinavia where it is still quite cold. Tomorrow, Friday, high pressure again will be reaching in from off the Atlantic into western parts of Europe. The areas of low pressure jet stream jumping to uh, slip a little bit further northwards or push a little, a little bit further northwards as this area of high pressure reaches in from the Atlantic Ocean. Other air temperatures look uh, hot down across Spain and Portugal, generally very warm seen through most parts of the uh, Mediterranean, even into the southeast part of Europe around the Balkans, the Black Sea, uh, we see uh, temperatures, upper air temperatures looking quite warm there. Further northwards, it's cooler uh, for Scandinavia and northern parts of Europe, Ireland and the UK also looking a little bit cooler with both upper air temperatures too, although probably not too far from average really. Uh, situation wise, those are dry weather again through those parts of the bed train. What do you maybe find sort of breaking out perhaps uh, through Greece and more widespread storms um, around the Alps and into southern parts of uh, Germany, uh, Austria, Hungary, for example, might get some heavy storms. Then going further north, we'll there's some showery rain still left across parts of uh, Scandinavia, wet weather moving in towards Norway. That said, there will be a lot of dry weather across Scandinavia as well. And then western parts of Europe, a few further storms into uh, central parts of France, but generally western Europe looking mainly dry uh, tomorrow. Temperature-wise, again, it's warm or very warm scene across most parts of the bed, hot down into southern parts of Spain and Portugal, the summer weather tree getting going um, down there. Further north, once again, it's cooler across Scandinavia and uh, northern, northeastern parts uh, of, Euro of Europe, Latvia, Estonia, for example, just a little bit cooler uh, through there. On into Saturday, again, high pressure dominates across many parts of uh, Western Europe. That will bring increasing heat from Spain and Portugal into France. And again, most parts of southern, southeast Europe looking very warm too. Cooler across the far north of uh, Europe. So, potential wise, again, some first storms could break out through southern parts of France, possibly into northern parts of uh, but Spain uh, as well, particularly over uh, mountainous areas like the Pyrenees, for example, we could see some storms through there. But most western and central parts of Europe are actually mainly dry. Some heavy showers and thunderstorms again from the Balkans down towards Romania and in towards uh, Greece as well. And then generally turning a little bit dry, I think, across Scandinavia, but some wet weather perhaps coming to central parts of Norway. A bit hotter through France, temperatures looking up into mid 20s Celsius through there, and Spain and Portugal again seeing temperatures probably approaching 30 degrees. Um, Ireland the UK as well, seeing temperatures lifting up into low 20s Celsius, and that warmth extending in towards the low countries, Belgium, Holland, Netherlands, and also Germany too. Northern parts of Europe, though, will be uh, rather cooler, especially uh, Norway and northern parts of Sweden. <laughs> Into Saturday, we're going to find high pressure then sh uh, shifting further northwards. A trough of low pressure digging in across uh, the far north and northeast of Europe will bring some cooler wetter weather, perhaps in towards the most Baltic sea areas, and then very slack gradients across the uh, rest uh, across the rest of Europe. 
Temperature wise, it's a little bit colder actually through Scandinavia, the far northeast Europe. At the same time, hotter air is pushing north to the western side of Europe, though. So, France, uh, Spain, into Germany, into the low countries, uh, the upper air temperatures are lifting up through there. Most parts of southern and southeast Europe also looking uh, very warm too, once again. Uh, so, as, uh, as far as precipitation is concerned, further heavy showers, maybe some thunderstorms. Um, through some parts of uh, France. I think they'll be relatively well scattered, but if you get a storm, you will probably uh, know about it. Most parts of the Med looking mainly dry. Could be some heavy storms through uh, northern parts of Spain and Portugal, but much of the Med mainly dry. Maybe some heavy showers down into uh, Greece. I want to see showers through mountainous areas of Italy and up into the Alps as well. Plus a little bit of showery weather getting in towards the UK and Ireland on Sunday, but most parts of Western Central Europe look mainly dry. And then have these showery bursts through Scandinavia in towards those Baltic Sea areas. Maybe even a little bit of snow mixed in across the very, very far northern parts of uh, Scandinavia. And uh, temperature-wise, it looks like that. So uh, Western Europe generally quite warm or very warm to hot through France, Spain and Portugal. That warmth is beginning to extend up into the UK uh, as well, and over through the low countries into Germany too. But it's turning colder across the far north of Europe. So, so um, you know, temperatures lowering through Norway, through Sweden, through Finland, uh, Latvia, Estonia, Lithuania. We could well see the temperature begin to push downwards again as we go into the second half of the weekend. Monday, I find high pressure centering somewhere between Iceland and Norway. That's going to put in a colder northerly wind uh, through those far northern and northeastern parts of Europe. At the same time, the uh, rest of Europe looks looking very warm under uh, slack gradients, low pressure deeply out of the Atlantic Ocean. So, again, it looks pretty hot through many parts of southern Europe. The heat is intensifying from northern Africa, as you expect, of course at this time of year, and that heat begins to push north. At the same time, maybe cold air is trying to dig back in from the Arctic into the very, very far north of Europe, so um, definitely colder for snow across northern parts of Finland and also Sweden and uh, Norway here with these upper air temperatures uh, plunging down once again. Precipitation-wise, heavy showers and thunderstorms could well break out through eastern parts of France, particularly into the low countries and some western and southwestern parts of Germany. Maybe a storm uh, breaking out as well on Monday across some parts of southern England too. Uh, Spain, Portugal mainly dry, as is western parts of France. And then we go up to Scandinavia, a lot of dry weather through there, but some precipitation in the far north and northeast Europe, and that could uh, deliver Either rain, sea, maybe even a little bit of snow through mountainous areas. Scattered showers down into the southeast part of Europe, but generally the train is drier through there. I think through the early part of next week. Temperature wise, cold across the far north and northeast Europe, otherwise a very warm or even quite hot scene across uh, the rest of Europe. On Tuesday, high pressure will be dominating again across much of northern Europe with low pressure deepening in the Atlantic. That will pull in these very warm southerly to southeast winds through central. Western parts of Europe, again, the hot air is particularly uh, down across southern Europe, intensifying through central parts of uh, Spain. Yes, that is a 20 Celsius ice firm appearing there through central parts of Spain for the first time uh, this year. That gets temperature well into the mid 30 Celsius. At the same time, over in far north, northeast Europe, looking quite cold, with minus 5 Celsius ice firm there, just pushing southwards into those extreme northern and northeastern regions. Lots of dry weather through Scandinavia under that area of high pressure, but there could be some rain, sleet, maybe a little snow through those extreme northern uh, sort of Arctic Circle regions of Scandinavia and then coming down into the extreme northeast of Europe. Heavy showers and thunderstorms look like they're breaking out through parts of the Alps and some of Germany and then again through Austria, Hungary, down in towards the Balkans in particular, around, uh, around the shores of the Asiatic. There could be some big thunderstorms through there and they might extend down in some of the Greek islands too. Uh, Such parts of Italy see some heavy showers and storms breaking out, but of Western Europe mainly dry, but there will be outbreaks of rain, maybe a little bit of thunder mixed in, moving in towards Ireland and parts of the UK, and maybe even uh, Western parts of France. Uh, much of Spain and Portugal looking mainly dry. Hot through uh, Spain, and that heat extending into some parts of France as well. Very warm air pushing up west side of Europe once more, and that will not begin to ex uh, expand eastwards into central parts of Europe and over far north of Europe again, looking pretty cold from Scandinavia and extreme northern parts of Europe. 
On Wednesday, the Royal Prussian Dream was in the Atlantic and begins to move into the west of Europe. A proper battle going on here with Royal Prussian in the Atlantic coming against this area of high pressure across the northern and increasingly eastern parts of Europe. The cold air from Scandinavia being shunted off into the west of uh, Russia as this warmth begins to extend northwards into the northern parts of Europe. The current heat, though, remains down across southern Europe through much of bed chain, looking like quite a hot scene with temperatures into the 30s Celsius through there. Uh, so, today's wise over that area of high pressure through northern and much of eastern Europe. There will be a lot of uh, dry weather. We'll have further heavy showers and thunderstorms also breaking out across western parts of Europe. This time, particularly focused around the Alps, again into uh, eastern parts of France, in particular into the Low Countries and possibly into the UK and Ireland too. Heavy showers and thunderstorms through uh, some parts of Italy and increasingly focused around Greece as well, uh, whilst the central western bowl of Mediterranean looks mainly dry, hot, and sunny. Temperatures looking like that on Wednesday, so the warmth is through the uh, western parts of Europe again. Temperatures widely into the mid 20s Celsius, at least some places going hotter than that. The cold air from uh, Scandinavia being pushed into Russia and actually is turning hotter across uh, Scandinavia. And then moving into uh, Thursday, uh, once again, high pressure dominates across the far north of Europe. Lower pressure being receding and pushing back out into the Atlantic once again, probably. Uh, upper air temperatures looking like that, so hot is through much of western, southwestern uh, parts of Europe, although the warmth does extend north. So even we see that those warmer upper air temperatures pushing into the far north of Scandinavia, so a very different feel by the end of next week, much warmer across Scandinavia as we lose those cold Arctic northerly winds. Um, Substation wise, a lot of dry weather on Thursday, but it comes some thunderstorms around the Alps, some showers along as well as the rain across the far west of Europe as well. Um, but again, you'll see the emphasis is on uh, a lot of dry weather for much of Europe uh, on uh, Thursday next week. Uh, temperatures are looking like this. So, so the warmth extending from like northern Africa and the Med right way up to Scandinavia. Those temperatures really do increase a lot, actually, dramatically so, across much of Sweden, uh, for example, and also into Finland, into Norway uh, as well. We see our temperatures really pushing up as we go into the second half of next week, compared to what we have through the earlier part of the week, where we do have that swipe of winter. And I'm just running on to day 10, so this is how things looking on Friday. It looks like it's a fungy low developing here across West Europe, so that could bring some storms through parts of uh, France, the low countries into the UK uh, as well. At the same time, that area of high pressure was like beginning to slip a little bit further towards eastern parts of Europe. Saturday uh, looking like that, so a new ridge of high pressure trying to extend in from off the Atlantic. That doesn't really make it, though. So uh, the weekend of like 23rd, 27th of May, um, day 9, 10, uh, northern and west Europe going into a cooler, sort of westerly, northwesterly type pattern, maybe with some showery conditions. Hottest weather will probably retreat down into southern parts of Europe and, and like, particularly towards Spain and Portugal there. I would have thought the uh, upper air temperatures uh, on day 10 look like that. So you see the hottest of the upper air temperatures are retreating southwards into southern parts of Europe, northern Africa, into Spain, into the southern part of the Mediterranean as things are cooling down particularly across the northern and western parts. You're not cold, but definitely cool down going on there through that weekend, 23rd, 22nd of May in northern and western parts of Europe. That will only be a temporary retreat of the heat, of course. Uh, across southern Europe, that heat, you know, you see it gathering there, intensifying, building across Africa. Um, so it'll just be a temporary retreat of, of the hot air, and then it will start surging back north, of course, as we go further on through the summer. Okay, so that's the European Outlook back. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please can you like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, uh, for doing that. We'll do European Outlook for you every Thursday. And, uh, uh, yeah, that's another one back. I told you, you know, when I went off to have the operation, that everything would come back. And uh, there we go. That's brought another one back for you. Right, so we'll be back later on with your 10 to 14 day. That will include all of the features. So come back for that one uh, for this week's European Outlook. That's all for now. And thanks for watching.